Hey guys, Trinkin' Out here. Welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful day today. Sun's out, but it's pretty chilly. I've been trying to get a little exercise. Y'all know it's been really cold. So, uh, it gets kind of old sitting in the house on the weekends. <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna go for a little mile light walk and jog and try to get the blood flowing. And, uh, just gonna put a little video together for you guys today because there ain't been much going on. So, uh, y'all stand, stand by and hope you enjoy the video. So I like starting out with a uh, little warm up. I like to do a little fast walk. Uh, where I live at, you can make three laps around the block and uh, it's a mile. So first lap, I like to do a little fast walk, kind of get my blood flowing, get get loosened up, and then I'll do light jogs and it don't take long, 10 to 15 minutes and I, I do a mile, so. I'm not scared of y'all. <laughs> that guy, that dog's got a uh, shock collar on, so he goes around the perimeter and he won't go out in the street or he'll get lit up. But I'm not scared of me regardless. He just, uh, you know how dogs are. They think, they think everything's their territory. So I just ignore him and it pisses him off. <laughs> Making turn three right here. See one, two, three, uh, turn three. This is the final stretch and it completes the lap. All right, that makes one lap. Anyway, I'm not gonna bore y'all with the rest of them. We'll get my exercise in and then we'll uh, continue with the video after this. Whew. Okay, just finished up. I actually got two miles in, so that's good. Didn't do it too hard, just uh, what I do is I Walk half a lap, jog half a lap. Anyway, it gets my blood circulating, makes me, you know, have some exercise. So I'm gonna go to the store, I think, get some stuff to make vegetable soup. And, uh, you know, just do whatever you can do on a Sunday. It's cold outside and not a whole lot going on. So anyway, y'all stay tuned. Well, like I said, I'm gonna make some vegetable soup today. Uh, I like putting all kinds of fresh ingredients in mine, but I'm gonna start off with some dried pinto beans. And of course, they're the hardest, so you gotta cook them. I like to cook them like a good 45 minutes to an hour before I add anything else where they're tender. It's gonna be good. So far we got the dried pinto beans cooking and then I like carrots, a lot of fresh carrots. Next thing I'm gonna add is uh, about four potatoes, a couple of cloves of garlic and one white onion. So I gotta peel the potatoes.
Okay, third ingredient is uh, some potatoes. All right, so all I did here is I got one onion, wide onion, and one, uh, two cloves of garlic. So the beans been cooking about 30 minutes. They're already starting to get tender, and I had to add a little more water, so I'm fixing to cut up some uh, green beans and add carrots and green beans in the next little phase. What I got here is, uh, I call it uh, soup deer meat. It's from uh, that buck I killed this year. And then some uh, fresh green beans that I'll cut the ends off and cut you know, cut the link and add to the soup. Fixing to get ready to uh, go up to the store, maybe GNC, and see if I can keep them in business <laughs> or uh, see what I get into. Uh, it's kind of boring, and uh, my soup's done. Uh, so it's just being happy on the stove. I'm going to eat it uh, for dinner and uh, probably for the next day or two, a couple days. So it'll be good. Be good and healthy. The other day I changed my oil and uh, I forgot to do the uh, reset. So I'm gonna go under here under uh, settings, uh, vehicle I believe. Let's see, there it is, oil life reset, set to 100. Oh, I did set it. All right, well, get out of there. Back to fuel economy, and there we go. Oh well, I did reset it. Uh, but uh, so for those of you who don't know how to do it on a Ford, you learn something new. <laughs> I'm going here to the GNC and see what I can find worthwhile to buy. I 
Well, <clears throat> I'm going to head up to uh, another GNC and uh, hire them up here by Academy. Uh, I'm looking for certain things, and this one GNC didn't have it. So we'll see if the other has anything I like. I got some 22 mag V Max 30 grain. I've been looking for these things forever. I might get me a box. Here's some Remington 308 150 grain. I'm looking for 180 grain. Look, Remington, it's good to see them back on the shelf. See ya. Yeah, coming up pretty soon. I've got to service both these uh, zero turns and get them ready for springtime. Uh, put some... Uh, spark plugs in them and uh what else this little uh air filter here i'll have to change it underneath here uh change the oil in the filter probably change the hydrostatic fluid and then this one over here same thing uh change the spark plugs air filter on the back uh definitely the hydrostatic fluid on this and the filters and then these little anti-scout wheels they get wore out so uh, I have to check all of them on both mowers and, uh, you know, probably replace some of them. I put new belts on this one last year up underneath here and everything. Uh, so they're good to go on that one. And this mower over here is, uh, you know, this is a 2017 model, so it's a lot newer. Belts are in real good shape on it. This, uh, this unit here only has... I don't know, probably 350, 400 hours on, on it. And this one, this one over here has over 2,000. So part of the whole gig, but I'm gonna get them all serviced up, get you know, get them right and ready to go. Sharpen the blades underneath of them. Uh, I put brand new tires on this one last year, front and back, 
And then this one right here, like I said, is still pretty new, so it's good. Anyway, something else to do. Probably be some future videos coming up with that. I was just looking at a couple of these bucks that I killed last year off the property and did some euros on them. I got like 10 euros. Uh, even at uh, even at eight pointer I killed this year, that's what he's doing right now. The bugs and stuff are eating him, so I have to show show you that uh, euro when I'm done with that one. Let's have a better look at them. Uh, this deer on my left here, uh, I shot this deer two seasons ago, and he really fooled me. Uh, he's coming down through there about 100 yards away. The sun was beaming off his horns. He was doing this number right here, checking the scrape, pawing the scrape, all that kind of stuff. Shot him, came running by, and boy, was I disappointed. But he's pretty and all, but love to let him walk. And, you know, that's why we do let so many deer walk down there, so they'll have potential. But he was a three and a half, uh, you know, He's got good brow tines for this, you know, deer down there because at that property, that's about as good as the brow tines as you'll get on one for the most part. Sometimes you don't get any good brow tines. And then this deer here is a solid 115. And this one right here is like a 100 inch deer. But this deer here had great G2s and G3s. And he's a three and a half. But uh, love to have shot him <laughs> later too. But. I'd been on a dry spell, and so I shot him first and was tickled to get him. It was a beautiful deer, and most people love to have a deer like this and mount him. Uh, but anyhow, uh, that eight-pointer I killed this year, that's what's happening with him. He's, uh, he's the bugs are eating him right now, so I'm going to do a euro on him, and I'll show you that when I get done. But I got like 10 or 12 euros that I've done over the years because I quit mounting them. So anyhow, I thought I'd show them to you guys. Okay, everyone, I think I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, I thought I'd let you guys follow along with me on the Sunday and see what I normally do. And uh, like I said, it's been really cold, so I uh, can't get out much, but just make the best of it. But uh, kind of got up and exercised, made some soup, run some errands, and just kind of messed around. So uh, we may get back down the property. I know I keep saying that, uh, but it'll depend on weather. It'll just depend on a lot of things. But we do got to go down there and uh, change the batteries and the cameras and put out some salt and uh, take some stands down and maybe hog hunt. It just depends on everybody's schedule. And, and the thing about it is that when the weather's lousy, it ain't no fun if it's rainy and cold. So, uh, but if it's to where we can do it, then we certainly uh, will do it. But either way, I will get down there to you know wrap everything up, get everything out of there, regardless if we hog hunt or not. So thanks everybody for following along and I appreciate you watching the video. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and we'll catch everybody next time. Y'all take care.